Tonight, ships are moving once again through the Suez Canal tonight after that cargo ship that was wedged across the waterway was finally dislodged. Here's ABC's James Longman tonight. Celebrations on the Suez. Tonight, one of the world's largest ships finally freed after nearly a week blocking one of the world's most important trade routes. A monster bottleneck that could be seen from space. And the container ships alone cost as much as $10 billion in global trade each day they sat idle on the water. Helped by the tides, Egyptian tugboats pulled and pushed from either side, working with specialist engineers from around the world who dredged some 30,000 cubic metres of sand from under the hull. That's enough to fill a dozen Olympic-sized swimming pools. Now the slow process of easing the huge traffic jam of hundreds of ships has begun, something Suez Canal authorities say will take about three days. But the incident is still far-reaching. Experts warning the disruption to global shipping could take weeks or more to unravel. David, tonight the Ever Given will undergo a full inspection at a lake north of where it got stuck and there will be an investigation. David? So many eyes on this. James Longman, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.